We're live, baby. Live from Las Vegas, coming to you live from Las Vegas, Nevada. It's the, Saturday night. It's Saturday <laughs> night, the day after Christmas. I hope everyone had a good Christmas. Hope Sanity Claus brought you everything that you had hoped for, and maybe even a little more. Look at you. Yeah, yeah, buddy. I don't know why I'm so chipper. Our cards shit the pants. <laughs> Dad, <down>. no cursing. <laughs> oh, sorry. No cursing, folks. Our cards pooped their 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 pants today. Yeah, our football team did not play particularly well. No, they yeah. did not. No. Yeah. No. You know, the first time we ever wore the I ever wore yep. the shirt was at Levi Stadium in, in San 19, Francisco. In yep. 2017. Uh, when you and and your sister Dara and I went to the game, yep, uh, the cards against the uh, the Forty Niners at yep. Levi Stadium, and uh, well, that day we 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 didn't poop our pants; we beat the <laughs> crap out of the Forty ers Before we get too deep into family stories, let's yes. set the stage for tonight's live stream. Dad, yes, okay? that yes. way that way folks know what they're actually tuning in. Yes, for. we are doing like we do on a lot of Saturday <clears throat> nights. Now we're trying to get a habit out of it. They're doing the question and answer yes. using hashtag your auto advocate back on Twitter. Yes. So, and if you don't have Twitter, um, then then you email us, but we don't have access to email at the moment. Yeah. But, but you know, you, we have live stream chat and we can look at that as well. I, I do believe We do have the live stream chat. So the cool thing about Twitter, though, hashtag your auto advocate yeah. is we both would love it if eventually someday a year from now doing this. Your auto advocate trends on Twitter. I mean, that would just be why, like. Why do we have to wait a year? I'm just trying to be like pragmatic. Why? Can't, why well, screw pragmatic. Why can't Why can't we make it? Why can't we make a trend before the end of this year? All right. The goal is tonight. Yes. Hashtag tonight. your auto advocate. Let's see if we can get 500 people join us concurrently. But we actually got to provide some value, Dad. I think to do that. Really? Just a little bit. <laughs> We'll do our best. All right, so why don't we do this? Let's yes. hop right in. Okay. We've had tons of folks sending us stuff. Also, if you've sent us and emailed us info at your auto advocate or team at your auto advocate or literally anything at your auto advocate comes to me. I hope I don't you know, come back to regret saying that. Send us, if you bought a car this year, your deal. What we're doing this upcoming week before the end of the year is we're doing the best car. We're going to award the best car deal of 2020. What does that person get? Find out. Free merch? Yeah, we'll probably send them something for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A t shirt or something. Gift card or something. Or congratulations. Yeah. So send us, send us your card deals. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I love the live chat. Man. Yeah. Oh, we've got the audio coming out of two. Oh. Does anyone know how to fix that? Well, I don't know. You're supposed to be the, uh, the technical genius here. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, I don't know how to make the audio not go out of like one or the other. Let me see. Well, I'm going to press a button. Give me one second. Well, what if we only used one mic? What would happen then? Okay, I pressed a button. What let happened, me know. Chuck? Did anything good happen let, when we let pressed me know. the button? Yeah, before we, before we like share the screen, I want to hear. Please comment. Did I, did I screw up the audio? Mono. It's okay. Audio is fine here. Okay, all right. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Chuck. Thank all you, this, everybody. All this Thank technology. You, <laughs> No, sounds fine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so let me share the screen, Pops. Sounds Ready? fine. Yeah. Boom. That's the live stream back end. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. You love what I, you know what I love about the browser extension? I'm, I'm like horse poop. I'm everywhere. You're everywhere. Yeah. Okay, we had a ton of folks send us using hashtag your auto advocate. Let's start from some of the earlier ones that were sent into us. Pops, Brad. We did a video about Brad, so that'll be coming out this week. Hyundai Tucson. All right, we haven't looked at that. Trade in. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, I'm just. I'm. I'm, 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 I'm just here. Can I get you a beer? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just looking for some. All right. Here we go. Okay. All right. And let me make sure it looks good. All right. Cool. Yeah, Everyone yeah. can see. Where, where's our Where's our chat? Well, you don't know how to do chat and this at the same okay, time. Okay. Well, that's fine. All right. So someone okay. got a car deal. MSRP, employee pricing. What are we looking at here? Chrysler. Chrysler does not allow dealerships. All right, first off thing of the night. Counts off of employee pricing. Is I that true? believe that. I, well, you, the 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 concept behind employee pricing is that the price is set by the manufacturer. Yep. Um, typically, uh, you're still entitled to any 
uh, other customer incentives that are out there from the manufacturer, but the price is set. Uh, the, the whole idea behind it is to make it as easy for, for the employee and for the dealership. Uh, typically, uh, the manufacturer pays the dealership a flat for having delivered the car. For instance, on on my Mini, when I got my Mini, yep. um, they pay the dealership $250 for handling the transaction. And that's all the money they make on it. Gotcha. So this Except is... Except for the dock fee, because they even charged me the dock fee. <laughs> when you bought your, yeah, your yeah. Mini, or when you leased yeah. your Mini, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so then I mean he's getting employee pricing. There's yes. dock fee, sales tax, registry. I mean, there's nothing here, inspection sticker, but... I mean, no. I mean, there's nothing here that, that seems out of whack, right, Doug? No, and, and uh, you know, obviously, if Chrysler doesn't allow them, and, and most manufacturers don't allow negotiation on, on employee pricing. It's just supposed to be cut and dried. Go get a car deal, Richard. Congrats. Yeah. I was yeah. wondering what the cost of equipment value relationship is with trim levels. Oh, okay, this is interesting. Okay. This is from Paul. Zoom in here. Okay. Um, are usually worth extra money. I'm looking at buying a 2017 Highlander in the next week or two, choosing between LE Plus, XLE, and Limited. Pops, I remember I asked you, because we're working on this for the Your Auto Advocate app. Yes. I asked you specifically, I said, between the different, and, and we focused on minis, because yes. you have the most experience most recently with them. Yes. Can you break down for our audience what the difference is in manufacturer, mar- or, well, dealer markup is well, it's, by it's, trim Well, it's margin. It's, yeah, it's margin. What, what the you. margin is between invoice and MSRP. For instance, um, on Mini, when I, when I was still with Mini, if it was a base Cooper, uh, the margin that was built into it was 6%. Yep. If it was a Cooper S, yep. the margin that was built into it was 8%. Yep. If it was a JCW, the margin was 10%. Mm-hmm. We prayed people wanted to buy and order uh, JCWs because they offered us the the greatest opportunity for profit. So what was the what was the difference in It was about 2 per, 2 percentage points difference in margin f- for each trim <clears throat> level. for every trim level that you moved up. So if you were to ask the dealership in this case, you know, it's a it's a used Toyota, but yes. if you were to ask for an invoice across all three trim levels, you'd see a different spread between invoice price and or uh, between, invoice price and MSRP, correct? Yeah, yes. Yes, between base MSRP and and yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. By the way, can I say something every time I see a picture of me and I mentioned this to you I think this morning because every now and then you post videos and I noticed that that my forehead now... It's kind of soft up there. It, it starts like just above my nose, and it runs to the back of my damn head now. It's it's very... You know, I, I, I once had a full head of hair. Of course, I might have been three, <laughs> but I did have a full head of hair. So we're working on... We have another podcast that my dad and I are going to start doing beginning of next year, and we've got a designer working on a logo right now. Yes. And um, let's just say the logo has like both my father's face and my face in it. Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> and my head was bald. And I and I and that upset me because I know I still have hair on the side of my head. The first designer. It's an awesome looking design. Yeah. And my dad has no hair. And I've got like and, this... I look handsome and, as hell. Yeah, you, 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 look, you made you me look, look great. Great. You looked great. I looked like a bald Chinese guy. <laughs> I, I don't know what the hell he was thinking. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Anyway, stay tuned. We got We got another podcast coming. We might even do a YouTube channel with it too. We shall yeah, see. We probably, you know why? Every, why every, not? Everything until until this COVID stuff's over. I'm living with my pops. So yeah. why not? We got fancy mics now. Not, yeah. Everything doesn't have to be about cars. No. Just most things. My whole life has been about cars, but I'd like to be about other things. All right. Um, hashtag. Get you that beer now. <laughs> I'm good. I don't want to hit the mic and whatnot. <laughs> I broke this mic the first day yeah. we got it. Chris says hashtag your auto advocate trying the techniques and the suggestions on your website for a new Ram 1500, but no one is coming down anywhere near your suggested price. Chris, one of the things we've talked about this a lot, if the dealer's advertised price already has all the incentives factored into it, then our suggested price makes no sense. We've got a fix coming. It should honestly be out next week um, before the new year. Our team was working on it. I mean, my my, my colleague Arash was literally working on it yesterday on Christmas. So anyway. Arash, don't do that. Yes, yeah, so we we apologize for that because yep. dealers oftentimes on their websites will advertise their lowest possible price, which is BS, which is a BS price, and and our suggested price uh, or offer is is based off of uh, a discount off of MSRP or for and, used cars the yes. advertised price, but those yes. don't have the fake incentive. Yes. Well, the, yeah. that the new cars have you know like 
the first responder, yeah, and retired yeah. military, and uh, yep. I thought about becoming a librarian. <laughs> this, you know, all the all the incentives that nobody qualifies for. Yeah. Mikey Muffintop, great name. It I learned is. from watching your YouTube videos that I should still ask for more off the the MSRP after the manufacturer oh, rebate. Absolutely. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Does the same apply for those finance options where you can take zero percent or four thousand dollars off? Oh, you can you can do either or. The yep. the manufacturer has uh, done the math. And they know that if you do the zero percent, that's going to cost them about four grand on average. If you do standard financing and you take the four thousand dollar rebate, it's still costing them four thousand um, dollars. But yes, you negotiate your discount off of the MSRP, and then you subtract uh, after tax and title is figured. Then you subtract your rebates because that's considered cash. Exactly. Cash down. All right, and then let's see uh, Quirky Musings. Another question is, I was wondering if I would have the best leverage of purchasing a used 2017, 2017 Tucson now or wait until February of next year. Thanks again. Hashtag your auto advocate. Well, based on what we keep reading in Black Book. Today's video, the video that went out today. Yeah, yeah. in today's video, um, you know, they're suggesting that we're going to see continued softening in used car retail pricing yep. uh, during, during the winter. Uh, well, you know, we're almost in the January and February now. Uh, one of the other videos that we did uh, was when used car deals are the best. And if I remember correctly, Martin Luther King Jr. Holiday yep, yep. was was realistically uh, rated as the highest for the largest amount of discount off of used cars. Um, that's like, what, the third week in January? And Pops, I did just pull up the live chat, and someone yeah. said, um, app, so the Your Auto Advocate app, helped me negotiate from a position of power after finding a truck was on the lot for 70 days. So in this case, for Quirky Musings, if you're looking at negotiating a Hyundai Santa Fe, run the market price report. If you yeah. can find one that's sitting on dealer's lot, go try and communicate with them now, but also recognize what you just said, yes. which is they might be even more interested well, in January. You know, according to the research, yep. Martin Luther King holiday is is the time when the largest discounts are applied to pre-owned cars yep all right pops let's keep yeah, going I can't here believe I, I remember all this shit stuff all this stuff um can when when can we do the x-rated version of that's going to be the other that's okay if you're if you're wondering the other podcast yeah. which i guess we won't be able to monetize on youtube because we're probably going to curse a lot um uh, you, you can't curse on youtube and monetize I don't know. Okay, well then let's not find out. <laughs> we'll see. We'll keep. I'll, I'll keep it clean for money. I can keep this shit clean. Dad. <laughs> okay, um, Gabby. Hey, fellas. Hey, Gabby. I have watched so many of your videos. We have a lot of videos. So yes. Thank you, Gabby. Um, and she waved at us with two hands. You ever do the two-handed wave? Thank you, Gabby. I hope that becomes a yeah. meme. Yeah. Uh, I was hoping to get your opinion on this out-the-door quote I just received on a 2021 Highlander Platinum. We started at 50408 then they reduced that to 47380 yeah. I was able to get it to 46800 Okay. That sounds great. Oh, yeah. oh, my. We might not be able to help here. Uh, let me see. Let me see. All right. I think that's as zoomed in as I can get. Let me make, okay. And the folks on the stream can actually see this as well. Okay. So we don't have the MSRP listed. That's always great. That yeah. makes it easier. Yeah. We have a forty-six thousand dollar discount. Okay. okay. Better selling price, dock fee, license fee, taxes. Are the taxes accurate? I don't know. Total rebates. Yeah, it's really hard to break this yeah. down. There's no MSRP. Uh, well, you know, it, it, I, I, yeah, it's hard to tell. Um, you know, if the MSRP is fifty thousand dollars, then then yeah, it looks you like you're, you're job, doing yeah. pretty good. Plus, getting the fifteen hundred dollar rebate. Yeah, I would say. I mean, if it started at fifty thousand four hundred eight and you got them down to forty six eight hundred, yeah. you did your job. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I you know you're doing pretty good. Plus, plus the additional fifteen hundred dollar rebate. Rebate. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that sounds good, Gabby. All right, Neil Newsom. I need help. Here's an out the door quote that I received from a dealership. Ran a market price report. It's been sitting on the lot for one hundred and sixty one days. The deal I'm being presented is close to a new 21. All right. Well, if it's close to the new 2021, yeah. buy the new 2021. There you go. Okay. And the that reason I say that, if they don't save you a significant amount of money to take the 2020, um, then the, the wholesale hit that you're going to take on that 2020 uh, doesn't, doesn't make sense. Yep. You know, there has to be a significant enough savings to go with the older model year. Yep. 
then, uh, and if there's not, then then take the newer one. Yep. Yep. Pay a few extra dollars. Take the 2021, and and the wholesale hit three years or four years from now won't be nearly as big. Pops, I just saw when I peeked at the uh, live chat. Yeah. Someone said, "Do your auto advocate after dark." So I think we'll we'll, we'll figure out the monetization thing. Ooh. You can share some stories. I can share some stories. They're more interested in your stories. All right, let's go back here. Well, I pro- probably because it's 69 and a half, I have more stories than you would. <laughs> I got some, good, I got some good stories. No, you do have some good stories. I got some good Some you probably don't even know. Ooh, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> All right. Michael's, is, it, is it going to be truth or dare? Is that what it's going to be? That could be interesting. All right. Okay. Michael says, hashtag your auto advocate. Looking to purchase a 2010 to 2012 RAV4 for my daughter. Yeah. Nice father. Yes. Other than the Carfax, what else should I look for if I end up out of town and don't have time for a pre-purchase inspection? Uh, you should look May- for one closer to you. So you, you can, can get, get a pre-purchase, pre-purchase inspection. inspection. <laughs> You're talking about buying an 8 to 10-year-old vehicle. And... and you know, Carfax is wonderful, but but it's not the end all be all. It doesn't have all the information that you would require. We have a video and, on and, that. And, yeah. and for you to spend any amount of money for an eight to ten year old vehicle without a pre purchase inspection, um, you could just be throwing that money away. Yep. And and we wouldn't want to see that happen. So if if you can't find one local where you can get that done, then don't buy one until you can. Yep. Yeah. Definitely get a pre-purchase that's, inspection. That's Ray's advice. That's that's Ray's auto advocate advice. Ray, you've been elected mayor of Oshkosh. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, really? Yeah, it was a lie. I'll show you. I'll oh show my you. god! All right, let's keep going. I didn't here. even know I was running. Let's find some of the more. But recent. if elected, I will serve. Okay? <laughs> I promise. All right. I want some more reads. Oh yeah, we did, I did see this one earlier, Dad. So this was no more kids for you. You're accurate. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. There will be no more for me. I don't know about for you. Yeah. What a name. Yeah. All right. Hashtag your auto advocate. I got the dealer invoice for a Mazda CX-5 2021 touring and white. They gave the yeah. VIN. Thank you. I ran a market price report and saw it's been a lot for 71 days. Okay. Yes. After researching, I was thinking of an OTD of 28 uh, 18, including yeah. the $500 rebate thoughts. Okay. All right. Let's break down this invoice, Pops. Let me... Give me a second. Give me a second. Size it up right. Make sure it looks good. All right. So what are we working with here? We've got... There we go. Well, we've got a car that's got an invoice of 29276 So you see that down here, right? Yes, I'm afraid I do. So the total invoice price for the vehicle is $29,276. Yes, the MSRP is $30,195. $30, um, I can't do the math, but that's what? Just a little over $900 in profit built into that? Yeah, so it's not a lot of profit from invoice... Wow. To MSRP. Now there must be there must be substantial uh, other incentives that they get from mm-hmm. Mazda to make it. Uh, yeah, factory bonuses, things yeah, like that. Yes. So down at the bottom, there we have the E plan and the S plan. Yes. So E plan is twenty eight one zero five. What is that? So so if, if you're a Mazda employee, yeah, um, then the employee price is the twenty eight one zero five. Okay. If you're affiliated with Mazda uh, as a supplier S-plan, yeah. or something like that, uh, you would qualify for the S plan, which is twenty invoice two, price. Yeah, which is twenty nine two seventy six, which is the invoice. And then we think DH that probably stands for dealer holdback. That's dealer holdback because my understanding, our understanding is that that Mazda works off of a one percent uh, for holdback off of the base retail amount so yep. if the uh, base retail is 28410 yep one percent would be 284 dollars so there's your dealer holdback and yes. then the coop co-op co-op 744 i think that's the advertising so so they they might front the dealer 744 dollars towards advertising like a before. regional advertising no 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 i oh, don't no? think that's what that is no no i i think this is money Typically, if if there's a dealer ad association, yeah, it it it, it is shown in the invoice as an additional cost. Gotcha. You think that's okay. money going? I think to... that I think that's money going to the dealer that uh, that co-op money that they can use however they determine to use it uh, in order to advertise their vehicles. Gotcha. So, so I just think that's that's a undisclosed profit area for the dealer so if you if you look at that 744 and the 284 
uh, that's about eleven hundred bucks. Yep. So you, you've got about two thousand dollars. Yeah, you got nine hundred in spread. Uh, yeah, and from then, invoice to MSRP, and, and they got eleven hundred dollars. Yeah. So so there's about there's about two thousand um, dollars. So I'm guessing that there's other incentives that oh, are coming to, to the dealer. Um, that aren't displayed on that invoice. So if we go back to the actual tweet here. Yeah. So, and let's make sure. Yeah, so there you go. I, I'm not sure how you get an out-the-door price of, uh, you know, plus he's getting a $500 rebate for, for being a recent college grad. So, yeah, so in OTD, I mean, it depends what state you're in, which I yeah, guess you, that if, looks if, like it might have been in New uh, Massachusetts. Let me pull it back up. Um, no, yeah, the dealer's in Pennsylvania. Okay, so your sales tax in Pennsylvania, I think, is 6%. Yeah, I mean, we could run it back in the Your Auto Advocate app, but, I mean, you're going to have sales tax, you're going to have doc fee, yeah, you you're going to have plates. title, registration. Yeah. So I think at 2818, I mean, OTD, if they're anywhere near that. For, sell, for yeah. OTD? Yeah. Oh, my gosh, yeah, take great. a deal, yeah. yeah. If Based that's even the selling price, see. that would be fine. Yes. You know, you've got a little more, especially at the end of the month, but that, yeah. you know. And just so you know, that's how you break down an invoice. So if you, one of the things that we're interested in is like, if you get your hands on invoices, send them to us because yeah. we'll break them down. Like my dad can, <laughs> he can decipher them. You know, you've seen enough. Of, no, you really have. You've seen enough I've of them. I've seen a few in my day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. From a few different manufacturers. Yeah. Yeah. But not all the manufacturers. All right, Pops. I think we need to give some love to the live chat okay. back on, um, on the live stream. Let me see if I can make this bigger. Yeah, It'd be really I just, nice I, to... really, I, I when when is the election in Oshkosh? All right, so maybe, let's see. Maybe maybe Zach and I can take the northern route home through Oshkosh. <laughs> um, you know, in March, because I'm sure it doesn't snow in Oshkosh in March. All right, we are looking at the live chat now. It's except giant. I really don't know how to make it bigger okay, on my well, screen. Okay, we can read it off the right. So, if you yeah. want a question answered, we're going to go real quick through live chat. Let's see. Roxy says, I wish you would answer questions on here. We're doing oh, that now, okay, Roxy. Okay, Roxy, did, what was your question? <laughs> when ordering a vehicle, yes. when do you negotiate the price, before or after the car comes in, Deb? Before. Before. They, they, they have no obligation to work with you after. <laughs> it's in. Okay, so negotiate the price as you're ordering the car so you know what it's going to be. So you, you, they can tell you exactly uh, what every cost is on that car. They, yep. they know what the invoice cost is. They know what the retail prices of everything are. So as for your, the build sheet. Yeah, work your deal off of the MSRP plus fees less any rebates or incentives that would be available to you at the time of delivery. That's how you want to work an ordered car. And one other thing that you have, we have it's a nugget deep within some video out there. Uh, dealers get floor plan assistance when vehicles sit on their lot. Yeah. So if you factory order a vehicle and you take it off their lot immediately, you can yeah, use that they, as a that, little that's bit just of... added profit for them. So you can negotiate Shumpy, with it. Uh, Delco, is that like Delaware County? You know, I graduated uh, Springfield High School in Springfield, Delaware County, and uh, well, I was class of 69, if you hadn't figured it out. <laughs> um, Nosset asks, Hi, Ray and Zach. When we do a video with R.A. Janessian, I actually wished R.A. a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays the other day. He emailed me back, and he said, Hey, we got to do a video. And you know what? You know what? I'm glad this is going to be recorded on the Internet. Yeah. Guess who has Marco Whiteboard Finance's cell phone number? Ari? No, I do. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why would Ari have it? I don't know. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I feel like you're, a big shot all of a you, sudden. You, you're something. So maybe we got something working with Marco as well. Oh, my God. Okay. Wouldn't that be great? Um, let's see here. Let's see. Okay. Shumpy says yes. That's good. Well, well that's <laughs> Robert, cool. Robert says, Zach, how is Blackjack going? Neither of us have been to a casino since we've been here. You know, the truth be told, uh, we're, we're both, we both have the gambling bug, okay? I, I mean, I admit it, and, and, you know, I've watched my son play blackjack, and I know he's got the gambling bug. But I just but, have an addictive personality. So though. do I. Yeah. And, 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 <laughs> but, but, 
having said that, we don't want to get the COVID bug. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I don't know until I get vaccinated, until like 70, 80, 90% of people get vaccinated, until. All right. I, no, no, I don't want to We're not going to the casinos. We had a question that said, what's the floor plan amount for like semi luxury vehicles? What's like d- tr- a, a traditional like floor it's, plan it's assistance? It's typically a percentage of the MSRP. So a couple hundred dollars? Yeah. 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 Two, three, four hundred dollars. It depends. Depends on. On the you know if if it's a hundred thousand dollar car it might be it might be a thousand dollars if it's a fifty thousand dollar car it might be uh, five hundred dollars if it's a twenty five thousand dollar car it could be two fifty yep 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 all right let's yeah. answer one more from here dad and then yeah. we're gonna take a deep breath go back to Twitter hashtag your auto advocate oh I'm not supposed are to we, take the deep breath yet are we <laughs> trending on Twitter yet I can't imagine we are but yeah but fingers yeah. crossed yeah we're we're hopeful we're very hopeful okay pops we have this question yes. Oh my, there's a lot that are coming through. Jeez. Okay, we have... Pick one. Okay, um, is the renovation cost what? negotiable on a used car? Well, the, I, I think you're talking about reconditioning. Reconditioning, yeah. That's a cost that should be built into the price of the car when it's offered to you. If you're looking at a used car and you go to a dealer and say they have it advertised for uh, $19,995, and you go, okay, I'll buy the car. And then they go, okay, well, and then there's a $2,000 reconditioning fee. No, no, the reconditioning fee is built into the cost of the car, built into the selling price of the car. If they're doing it the other way, then they're just being greedy. I hate to say this, greedy pigs. Not that anybody has ever thought that, that a used car dealer or a used car salesperson or a car salesperson could be a greedy pig. But that's what it is. You're just if, if you're doing it where you're charging the reconditioning after you've priced the car, it's just so you can advertise a cheaper price. And that's bogus. And, and you know, states really ought to crack down on that because the price that something's advertised for should be the price that you should be able to buy it for. So we're doing uh, the video here at the end of the year, the best car deal of 2020, where we're going to award the best car deal. So again, send us your car deals info at. We should also do a video, Dad. Yeah. The worst dealership, like, uh, worksheet. We, we, we couldn't because there's, there's way too, too many. many of them. There's it'd be, just, it'd be a good video. Just, there, yeah, but there's just way too. I, I mean, the the problem is that the vast majority of the dealers just don't want to get into the 21st century and just don't want to make it easier for people to buy cars. They haven't bought into the fact that if you make it easier, you'll actually blood sell pressure, more cars. blood pressure, blood My pressure. Blood pressure is fine. Damn it. Uh, they just have they haven't bought into that fact that that the easier it is, the more you can sell. Yep. The harder it is, the less cars you're going to sell. Um, and, and dealers just, they need to wake up and, and, and they, they need to, to become more customer centric and, and make life easier for not only the customer, but the people that work in their dealerships. No, no, for sure. You experienced that for, for a long, long time. 40 some years. All right, let's go back to Twitter. Hashtag okay. your auto advocate to submit your questions. Let's see here. Christopher Brown, your auto advocate. Is there much opportunity to negotiate a discount on a custom order European delivery car? Yes. yes. You, you, get to, you get to negotiate that just as you do as if yep. the car was coming to the dealership. I've been except, looking. Yeah, yeah, except you get to take delivery in Europe. Um, I've been looking. No, I think he's. Oh, I guess yeah, custom yeah. order. Well, I think well, he that's means what he's like talking about on either way, order. either way. Well, I, are you talking about taking taking delivery in Europe? We we got it. We got. We, there's so many. We got just like hit him. We got hit him. You know what I mean? If he's taking it in Europe or if he's taking it here, he's, 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 you can negotiate. Yeah, you can negotiate. You can negotiate. Also, getting your wife a Maserati Ghibli. Ghibli. Ghibli, Ghibli for my wife. That's nice. We like them, but. They have a terrifying reputation. So apparently you don't think quite as much of your wife as you should. And don't do that to her. Augustus says, hashtag your auto advocate. You guys are going to be rich. Well, from your lips to God's <laughs> ears, my friend, we only hope you're right. Yeah, not yeah. quite yet, yeah, but yeah. I don't know. Maybe. That'd be cool. I yeah. mean, I really, yeah. my dad has a one bedroom condo at the Jersey Shore. I'd yeah. love to buy a house down there instead. Yeah, we would. Then I don't have to sleep on your couch. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, um, how can I invest in Team Chefska? Just watch our videos, my friend. Yes, yes. Give you a little like watch, here. Watch them a lot. 
<laughs> okay, just let them run forever. <laughs> <laughs> Someone from YouTube is going to watch and be like, these guys are scamming it. Okay. Um, not like YouTube's not scamming it. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. Um, will car prices go down after all this election madness is over? Hashtag your auto advocate. I don't think the two are coupled. It's it's very complex. Um, Supply yeah, demand. Yeah, Watch so, our weekly videos. Yeah, apparently we, we have a supply and demand issue with our elections. I don't yeah, know. Oh, goodness. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, here we go. Let's see here. Let me get it on the screen, Pop, so that everyone can see. Okay. Okay, so we've got a dealer worksheet. Yeah. Quote number 1281926. Okay, it's oh, a lease. Yeah, for an $84,000 car. What car are we dealing with here? Well, I don't know. Let me let me click out. Mercedes Benz because it's Mercedes Benz Financial. Okay, Mercedes Benz Financial. Yeah. So the cap cost. So let's break this down for everyone. So on a lease, pops. Yes. What are you negotiating? You're negotiating a discount off of the MSRP, which is called the like what's instead of the selling price, it's the no, it is the selling price. It's the that cap becomes, cost. That becomes the cap. Cost. Yeah, that's what yes. I was trying to get at. Yeah, I was but, teeing but, you up. But yeah, what you're trying to do is you're you're negotiating. The selling price off of the MS, the discount off of the MSRP, just like you were buying the car. Yep. And then you say, oh, by the way, what would the lease numbers be based on the selling price we've just agreed to? And then when you look at a contract like this or print out a worksheet yes. like this, it's going to yes. be called the cap cost. That's yes. So they've discounted $10,000. Not unusual. For, yep. uh, you know, because talking to my, my buddy, uh, Glenn, Glenn Bob, Bob, a belated Merry Christmas to you, Glenn Bob, if you're watching. Um, Oh my God! You have surgery coming up this week, um, but but Glenn Bob, you know he works. He, he works at he works at the the craziest looking Mercedes Benz dealership I've ever been at. The, it, it's it's like they're sitting on two acres and they have eleven hundred cars, and it's like I don't know. There's no place to park anywhere. Glenn but, Bob has worked at a Mercedes Benz but, dealership but for that, 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 decades. That's besides the point. The point is, as Glenn says, you know, they let me work my own deals. So I pretty much start every deal at 10% off MSRP. <laughs> that says a lot about the markup in Mercedes-Benz so, products. But, but, you know, it's the, the point is to get $10,000 off isn't that unusual yep. on a Mercedes-Benz. Yep. Um, you, you, when, when I worked for a Mercedes-Benz dealership for two months, that was all I could take. Um, and And... It was like every time I get see an internet lead and, and what all the other Mercedes-Benz dealers were doing in the area, I, I mean, they go right from MSRP to invoice and go into holdback, and that's their opening shot, <laughs> you know. And then folks go, well, how much more can I negotiate? Ah, shit, I don't know. <laughs> all right, so let's keep looking at this deal here. Yeah. So we've got the residual amount. 47%. Yep, a mileage penalty. Okay, so so he's. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that this is probably an, maybe an eighteen thousand mile a year lease. Yeah, we can take a maybe. peek at his at his uh, note to us in a second. We've got capped fees at one thousand nine oh five. Yeah, that could that could be the uh, the lease acquisition fee. I don't know. All right. Yeah, and then. Adjusted cap cost is, is yeah. seventy five thousand so nine hundred and ninety. It's, it's, oh, it's okay. a fifteen thousand mile. Yeah, but the reason that there's an eight because he's going to do more than fifteen thousand miles. He's agreeing to do more than fifteen thousand miles up front. That's why there's the mileage penalty of eighteen hundred dollars. So why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just get a because bigger? Because it's probably an eighteen. Because well, they they will they only give you residual values for like five thousand, seventy five hundred, ten thousand, twelve thousand, and fifteen thousand miles. If you want to do a lease that's more than fifteen thousand miles, then there's the mileage penalty that they charge you up front. Interesting. I didn't so know you that. can't get a residual value. Um, in the in their books or their guides at yeah 18, from like 000. ALG or whatever yeah, yeah. It, it's it's you use the fifteen thousand mile residual and okay then, and then there's a deduction or an add on for the extra miles okay so let's um let's pop out here so Chris just sent us this okay so I I'm I'm not sure Chris I mean amount due F E G what's F E G pops. Sixty-two, one seventeen. Well, he's. I don't know what that is. Well, I'm trying. Let me see what the whole thing is. So Take your time, pops. Well, you don't let me. The disposition fee is five ninety-five at the end of the lease if he doesn't keep it. Purchase option. They charge you one hundred and fifty dollars if you decide to buy it on top of the residual value. Hell, the money factor is cheap. 
and times that by 2,400, it's what, just a little over 3%? Yep. Um, total sales tax. So this could be one of those states, um, like Maryland, where they charge you the sales tax up front for everything, and it's, it's just built in that way. Yep. Uh, so the monthly payment... Well, no, no, the monthly payment include is, must it, include because they've got the base monthly. What is monthly rental? Is that just the lease payment? Well, yeah. the monthly rental and then plus the sales tax. So, so I am guess they're saying that the total sales tax over the life of the lease will be $4,064. Yep. And so you divide that by 36 and it comes out to probably $113 a month. Yep. And that's how you get your total monthly payment of $1,298. The customer is going to put $2,224 down end of sentence oh i'm dragging stuff on the screen you pops. are i don't know why you're doing that because i wanted to don't do be a dragger. there we go there you go okay so we've so. got two thousand two hundred and twenty four dollars down yeah and the monthly payment's going to be 1298 thirteen hundred dollars a month so what is feg though i'm still curious do you have um, any clue i don't know i don't know what that yeah. is either you could fag and you can beg. <laughs> so in this case, getting ten thousand dollars off on a Mercedes Benz yeah. is not anything to like. You know, that's that's pretty typical. I guess your takeaway here. Well, you know, a ten percent off would be eighty five hundred. So we got more than ten percent off. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We can't tell too terribly you know, much I, there. there. There might be other incentives and stuff, but you know that 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 seems like a a, a relatively inexpensive money factor. Uh, the residual seems about right for Mercedes Benz at, at eighteen thousand miles a year. Yep. Um, so yeah, I, I, you know, they're, right. they're being pretty straightforward with you. I it, mean, they're providing you with all the information, which is well, how should we say unusual yeah, for dealerships to do that? That that is atypical. Yes. All right, we've got another okay, deal I'll, I'll here. Use it, uh, atypical, I like that. So we've got a twenty twenty one Jeep Wrangler. Yeah. The MSRP, I'd imagine, since it's new, 40572 yeah. The dock fee, the tax. So that must be California. Yep. Non-tax fee, so that's your title, registration, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Yeah. Let's see. We've got some tax. Whoop. Man, I'm... We've got to work on this. I know. You know, I can, know. can you practice it in your spare time so that <laughs> come Saturdays, it shit's a little smoother than this? Can't, can't say yes word. Uh, San Jose, California, local dealer usually would ask MSRP until they sold. This week, they agreed to match distant dealers 8.5% off MSRP, and they okay. did. Dealer's invoice price was 42692 MSRP. Yeah, this is a good deal then. Okay. I mean, if the invoice price is 42000 and you've got them selling it to you... For 40572 40, Yeah. This is like a primetime example of an end-of-year car deal, right? Yes, it is. Is a dealer trying they, to move? Because, you know, so many Jeep dealers, um, you know, they don't think their things are Sarge Green. They think they're like gold. Really? And, and, oh, yeah, they, you know, and gold's worth a lot these days. <laughs> no, but I think that is a really good, like, that deal is indicative, like, selling under invoice. Yes, at the end of the year and trying to be competitive with an out-of-town dealer so you can keep your customer in your market, you can sell him the car and service the car as opposed to, well, just servicing the car. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's one of the tactics that we talk a lot about, Dad, which is how to get a deal at a lower price. You got to get two playing yes. and then you got to get one to come down. And then the, re the time that you have more leverage is when you understand your market. Yes. And you understand, obviously, also the yes. time of year. And, 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 you know, as I used to tell my customers when I first got in the business and I was managing the the uh, Nissan dealership outside of Atlantic City. Yeah. Here's what you do. Go go to your out of out of the way dealers. Go get prices on what what you want to buy. Then come back to me and say, "Ray, these aren't the people I really want to buy the car from, but this is what they're willing to sell it to me for. I need you to match it or beat it so that I can buy the car from you, which is well, where I'd like to buy it because you're my local neighborhood dealer. And then, Dad, one question we get a lot that I'm curious about is yes. when you're working. I would look at them and I'd go, well, could you give me $100 more than we're <laughs> local? Um, can I, as a when I'm communicating with my local dealer, use the fact that I'm going to service my vehicle with Absolutely. you? Like I should be talking about that on the sales side? Absolutely. You know, the, 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 the relationship doesn't end when I sign the paperwork. Um, you know, you're definitely going to bring the car uh, to a dealer for warranty work. Yep. Um, and dealers love warranty work. So, yeah, no, ex express to them that you'd like to establish the type of relationship where you're not only going to buy the car there, but you're going to service the car there. Yep, yep. Yeah. Use I that mean, as part you know, of your leverage. There, there's, there's a lifetime value. 
that that's a phrase have. I use. Yeah. And it's and it's hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, when when everything is factored in for the number of cars that they might buy, the number of people that they could recommend, definitely uh, could refer. Yeah. Uh, the service work it adds up to hundreds of thousands of dollars in lifetime value. I remember one time you went into the deal system at the old mini store that you worked at. Yes. How much had you spent on cars? Me personally, for like the family though, uh, over two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. And I drove like a Mazda 3, you know, like yeah. a, an old Mazda 3. Yeah. Mom drove an old Subaru. You were driving Yeah, but the I didn't mini. buy the Subaru there. I wow. bought the Subaru at the dealership next to it, next to the mini store. But yeah, I mean, from, from you know, the, the number of cars that I bought because, well, I admit it, folks, I'm a caraholic. Um, I, I had to enter a 12-step program. <laughs> um and, and, you know, I, I, I bought cars even though I didn't need cars. So yeah. when you have leverage here at your end, when you have another dealer that's 200 miles away yeah. giving you a price, these are all the talking points with the local deal. Yeah. I'm going to service here. I know I'm going to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars yeah. with you. Over, yeah, yeah, yeah. All good. All right, let's go back. We'll do a couple more tweets here, Pop, and then we pop. Oh, my. I can't wait till you're a grandfather and I can call you Pop Pop. Well, I don't know who's going to uh, provide me with my first grandchild, but... Something tells me I, it's going to be my I sister. Checked, you're not even dating anybody at the moment, so... Still single. Has not so, changed today. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Dean asks, hashtag your auto advocate, is there a website that is better than others at combining used cars available from dealers? Um, there's a website called Auto Tempest. I don't know if you're aware of Auto Tempest, Dad. I am not. They aggregate a bunch of listings from a bunch of different websites. Dean, yeah. I would definitely check out autotempest.com. There you have it, Dean. The Cyclone Drew. Why yes. are these lease deals make you put down the equivalent of 20 plus lease payments down for the privilege of paying 36 more months of payments. Do you know what he's talking about, Pops? I don't. I, I do know that you can get into a lease with absolutely zero money down. Yep. Um, you know, most leases are based on some amount of money down. Um, and a lot of people go into a lease where all they put down is their first monthly payment. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't, I don't know of any that really require you to put down Lots of cash. It's foolish to put down yep. a lot of cash on a lease, yep. which is why I don't put any cash down on a lease. Give Gazelka Cole for Christmas says, hashtag your auto advocate should really be trending tonight. Hashtag go cards. Thank you. Yeah, go cards. <laughs> hashtag your auto advocate. Toyota's is from Wade. Toyota's fiscal year end is March 31st. Do manufacturers offer big incentives to buy at the end of their fiscal year like they do at the end of the calendar year? Um not to the same degree. It's the calendar year that means everything to the dealers uh, and and to the manufacturers, regardless of the fact that their their uh, their corporate fiscal year might end March thirty first. They're really you know the dealers' fiscal year ends December thirty first. So and so when you're getting like you see on TV, we're watching you know the Cardinals game earlier. We're going to watch our Phoenix Suns play tonight. You're going to see Toyota Thon pricing or yeah. you know uh, yeah. Chrysler employee discount or whatever yeah, it is or lexus is december to remember december or, those yeah. are all manufacturer subsidize like subsidizing that um expense but then from the dealer perspective where you spent your whole career as a car buyer you have the most leverage literally this week don't you oh yeah, yeah because dealers are desperate to make their year-end numbers they just are and and i know there's been viewers that say well what if they've already hit their year-end numbers on by december 26th doesn't matter. They're in deal making mode. It's this this time from from December twenty sixth through the end of the year is the busiest week of the year. And it, it's like anything, it becomes a frenzy and and dealers agree to make deals that they wouldn't normally make because everybody's just in a deal making mood. You've told me there's stair step programs though. Oh absolutely. So even if you hit a threshold, yeah, there's can, another threshold. There to could hit. be another threshold. But but it's it's just it, 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 it's there's something about the psychology of it. Oh, there's yeah. a psychology for for the buyer when they go into a store and they see the store is really busy that they just feel compelled that they have to try and buy something. And the same thing happens to dealership personnel. They just want to sell they, more cars. They yeah. just feel compelled to yeah. figure out how to make that next deal. Whether they needed that deal or not, they, they feel because you always need one more. Psychology with your auto advocate. Well, All right, we've got from Diego. Yeah. Let's see here. I just want to make sure that it... Oh, are we... Oh, I think it's just a little laggy, Pops. Okay. Well, something's laggy. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, no. I see what it is. Okay, cool. I'm learning. Okay, cool. Oh, my gosh. I keep grabbing it. Jeez. When are you going to learn to do the tech I'm support? Not. 
<laughs> window. Yeah. There There's we way go. way too much stuff here. I'm actually really proud. I didn't know how to do Diego. any of this. Okay. I'm planning to buy a certified pre-owned Mazda CX-3 with 10,000 miles in Florida. I live in D.C. Should I trust the Mazda certificate and clean Carfax, or should I find a local shop to get it inspected? Well, here's the one thing I want to say to you, Diego. Huh. Um, the wild, wild west of Florida, <laughs> where they charge more for dock fees than anywhere else in America. Yeah, Diego, see. please reply on this yeah, when you get a chance. What is the dock fee on that what, deal? What's the dock fee that the Florida dealer is going to charge you for the privilege of buying a car in Florida and either flying down, picking it up, and driving it back to D.C. or having it shipped to D.C.? Yeah, I'm actually really um, surprised. By I, they must I, have I, advertised the craziest, yeah, lowest price you've ever seen. I, I can't believe you can't find a CX-3 in the, in the DMV area uh, that would be comparably equipped and comparably priced. Yeah. Well, Godspeed. I would get the PPI just to play it safe. Oh, absolutely. $150 investment to have yeah. peace of mind. Yeah. Osea Dad says, your auto advocate, 2021 made to order Bentley Bentayga hybrid. How much can I negotiate? Who the hell knows? I've never <laughs> represented Bentleys in my life. But, but you know, I bet you it's got a big markup. <laughs> and you know what they figure? If you can afford the Bentley, <laughs> you can afford to pay their price. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Um, by the way, how much how much is the first oil change going to be on that? Probably expensive. Ooh, yeah. Probably more than either of us could afford. Yeah. All right. Um, Kartik says, your auto advocate, I learned a lot from your videos. We're glad to help. Thank I, you, Pops. I think I've communicated with the... With Kartik? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Via yeah. email? Or YouTube yeah, comments? Yeah, yeah, via email. Very cool. Yeah, I believe so. Um, does this deal sound good? $32,875, 2000 in rebates, another nearly $2,000 in dealer discounts. Well, you know, having having looked at a, at a CX-5 invoice a little while ago, and we figured that the car had a total uh, with whole and of everything of about $2,000, $2, and you're getting, I don't know, eighteen eighty five off plus the $2,000 rebate. It seems to me that that uh, you know you're you're well within the the confines of a good deal there. So, and I just want to hammer this home: if you ask dealers for invoices, they'll yeah. they'll give them to you as a sales tax. Well, they some might. will, some will, some will, yeah. Think how helpful this is since we had earlier in the show yeah. a Mazda CX-5 invoice. Yeah. If you have invoices, send them to us. Use the hashtag your auto advocate so that it's out in the public and like we yeah. can get other people to Damn, look. Damn, there's a lot of forehead there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before we end the live stream, I'm going to pull up the logo for this other thing we're working on, and maybe some people can, because yeah. we should get some crowd, you know, some crowdsourcing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But send us your invoices because then we can break them down and help people like Kartik. Send and, me a toupee, yeah. one of the two. <laughs> You're funny, man. Uh, All right, let's answer a few more tweets. Yeah. What is a good discount off MSRP for a Lexus NX during your December to Remember event? I'm at 12% with them now. Well, that's pretty good. I, you know, I was going to say they probably have about the 8 to 10% margin. Uh, so if you're at 12%, it seems like you're doing doing pretty good. You know, maybe you can push them for a little bit more money, but I doubt that there's going to be a lot more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, interesting here. I want to jump down. Hey, guys, thanks for your videos. Is it ever a good idea to do a trade-in? My 14 Nissan Rogue is six years Rogue, excuse me, is yeah. six years old, and I saw this in the mail. I don't need a vehicle, but is it a good time to upgrade for 7K? So it looks like this dealer was doing some. Oh, they've got a. This is a promotion for a new, yeah. but they're saying trade in 12,000. That makes no freaking sense, does it, pops? Um, well, trade. <laughs> How do you know? Yeah. You know, they need to. They're going to need to see the car, and then they're going to need to, and then they're going to devalue the car uh, for this, that, and the other thing. And but to answer the question, but, is it but, ever? But yeah. they will have you there, and and so they will do everything in their power to keep you there uh, until you agree to buy that car that well you didn't need and and you really really didn't want. Pops, a question for you up here from yeah. J Doc. Yeah. Hashtag your auto advocate. Can you get a better value on trade with stock or aftermarket parts? I don't think we've ever talked about this. When you would inspect cars and they had aftermarket parts on them. It depended on the aftermarket. Talk to me. I'm, yeah. I'm curious about this um, one. You know, if, if the car had been lowered, uh, that, that, that didn't add value to the car. Okay. Um, like when people stance a car? I think that's what it's called, Dad. Uh, well, you know, in my day we called it lowering the car. <laughs> Okay. Um, if the car had been lowered, that didn't add value to the car. Now, if it was a Jeep and it had been raised, 
um, lifted that that would have value that would add that would add value to a Jeep lover. Yep. Um, if it has a cold air intake and, and a special exhaust, it, it depends on the quality and how well it was done. Yeah. Um, so it, it, it depends. It depends on the vehicle. I mean, I, I traded some Jeeps that were really, you know, uh, dolled up and, and dressed up and, 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 and paid extra for them to do that. I traded, uh, I traded minis. Uh, that way because yeah. it was the right type of stuff that the people had put on the car that another mini owner would want um, but it, it has to be done well if it's not done well it's not adding value i i wonder i feel like i almost hit the microphone i'm oh, so well, nervous yeah. all right so that's actually really interesting we've never talked about aftermarket parts well, before so i'm glad did. i'm glad yeah. that we did We're glad for that question all right, so let's see here. Signed a lease today. All right, yeah. I'm not even going to click into this one because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to yeah. zoom in effectively. Yeah. Uh, Danny K. Danny, Danny Lightning yeah. Bolt K. Yes. No question. As just opposed to, say, to the other Danny K who's dead. Who's he, that? he was a singer and an actor, Danny K. You Ooh. wouldn't know. You're too young. But, but he talked about effluence and other things. Are we trending on Twitter? Can someone let us know on yeah. Twitter using hashtag your auto advocate yeah. for trending yeah. on Twitter? Well, uh, Danny K's. Trending on Yeah, let's get Danny K <laughs> trending on Twitter. Tag Danny K. Sorry, Danny K. Thanks for the kind words. Okay, um, Diego, well, what we're Danny back. Danny want to know? He just said thanks for the entertainment. Uh, oh, okay. It's our pleasure. Kind. It's uh, you know, it's it's basically at this age uh, and this stage of my life, it's what I live for, Danny. Yeah, it is kind of yeah. nice that we get to do this together. Yeah. Um, all right, Dave says at yeah, our handle is get auto advocate because. At your auto advocate was taken. It was really sad when I realized that. So yeah. follow us if you get a chance, please. Yeah. Um, please. Can a dealer see that you spoke with another dealer in the same class of cars? No. Yeah, dealers are, are independent. Of they're one they're independent now. The now I say that, and and then you know there are some areas where I don't know. Uh, I can tell you in in the Phoenix marketplace, um, there's a handful of of uh, Audi stores and I know Penske owns two of them um, so yeah in that case they might but otherwise they wouldn't Pops I think we we've done a good job covering deals right you feel like we've done a decent job tonight yeah I, th I think so okay I yeah. sent my dad this article um, you know the one from Bloomberg about the guy Mr. Beast yeah you know where I'm scary, going scary scary stuff okay because because I'm I'm, I'm too old to be Mr. Beast, but I'd love to be Mr. Beast. <laughs> okay, I was just about to make a joke, but even I... Can, can I make that type of joke? I don't know. Let's hear it. All right, so you say... I what, Say what you say again. Yeah. Say it again. I, I, I'd, I'd love to be Mr. Beast. That's what mom used to say, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she said, no. Mom used to say, I wish you were Mr. Beast. <laughs> Big difference. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Jeez. So we just cracked for the first time ever 500 concurrent viewers on a live stream. So congrats, Pops. Well, con congrats to you. But yeah. I wonder, I yeah. wonder if we, yeah. like, so Mr. Beast does all these. If I was Mr. Beast, <laughs> we could get to 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, he does uh, stuff like he counts to 100,000. Like, maybe that's what we should do. Well, that was his first video that went viral. He did all kinds of other videos that did caca. Okay, but then one day he decided, well, I'm just going to count to 100,000 and we'll see what happens. And, and it's like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll watch that. Well, I'd rather watch paint dry personally. But he hit one, on something. And, two. And, and three. And, four. And, and, and five. <laughs> and, 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 and the son of a gun is like, he is the top I know, isn't that crazy? producer yeah. on on. On uh, YouTube. All right, well, it's we're losing viewers, so maybe I shouldn't even comment. Yeah, it, but well, thank you for joining fault. us. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. bad. All yeah. right, so I want to, unless you have, I mean, we can we can read and respond to live chat, Dad. Well, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm available. Well, I, I kind of want to show the logo for the other thing that we're going to go gonna ahead. Yeah. All right, did you did you want to tell people? Uh, a you little tell bit about while it? while I'm okay. flutzing around here. So so as you know, I'm 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 the father of two children. Um, and, and the one on my left. Oh, is, wait, let's show them the one where you have no hair. Yeah. I mean, just folks, just, yeah. I just, mean, you know what, the, what, what, that just looks like an angry Chinese. Dad, you gotta be PC, right? <laughs> I am, you know, I mean, come on. Uh, but anyway, Zach had this idea that, you know, whenever he's had issues and he's and, and and you know he needed somebody to turn to for advice, well, he turned to me, 
and, and yeah, we have a really good relationship. And, we didn't always, but no, now we do. And 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 he found that a lot of the advice that I gave him was good advice. So he thought, well, we should do a YouTube, well, a website called Advice from My Dad. And if you can't talk to your dad, you can talk to me, and I'll and I'll share advice as to how you know, kind of like Ann Landers or something like yeah. that. And and so, well, I oh, I like that. You like sort this one? Of, sort of. It's a little weird. Yeah, well, the mustache is a little. This off. one's weird. Yeah. Yeah, the mustache is like yeah. very. Um, but but uh, I we we were seriously thinking of doing it. Yeah, it, it, and and it you know the advice could just be life advice. It doesn't have to be car advice. No, no. Um, so this will be kind of our opportunity yeah. to you know. So everything we do yeah, for your auto, we're losing people left and right talking about this shit. <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, the S word. <laughs> We love talking about cars because that's yeah. obviously where yes. you have your professional because I've experience. I've done that but... for a while in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we we you know I I have had some rather unique life experiences, and I can and I can share what I've learned in life with you that that, that might help people along the way. Yeah. So we'll say. So anyway, just wanted to share that. If you have input on which of those designs you like, we're yeah. definitely looking for help. Okay. Yeah. Let's answer a few more questions okay. before the top of the hour. Yes. Let me see here. Um, Ray, this is from Michael. I suffer from the same affliction. You are not going bald. Your head is growing through your hair. I like that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. When uh, Wanda says, "Can Mazdas ever be negotiated?" I say, "No, at least not so far." No, Wanda. I mean, we just we looked just at saw two this, deals this whole episode. Is yeah. yeah, this whole episode it, it, has it's been. It's almost been Mazda or bust in this episode. So I would think that yes, they can be. Yep. Um, and and we have seen that they have been. Yep. Uh, Jeremy says, looking for a. 2018 cross tracker rogue will the price reduce quickly with lease returns in the upcoming months prices have been going down for 15 weeks in a row they'll probably continue to go down so yeah, yeah probably and 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 the those dealers are going to be buying those cars relatively inexpensively um in comparison to what the market conditions are at this point yep so you might be able to negotiate a slightly better deal because they're buying it at, at, at lower prices exactly. than what they normally would at the auction. And those vehicles are never going to make it to the auction. You just you need to check in with your local Subaru dealer or Nissan dealers yep. and find out what lease returns are coming back because that, that's like a virtual used car lot for dealers. Yep. Uh, Tony says good for some of us that don't have their dads anymore. Yep, Tony, that's yeah. the whole idea. Janet yeah. says, I'm a new subscriber. Thank you for what you're doing. Yeah. Thank you, Janet, for joining us. Um, okay, Mario says, which FICO scores should we should I be using for newer used cars? There's the auto FICO exactly. score eight. Yeah. yeah. So Google search that. We have a guide back at youratoadvocate.com. My dad wrote all about the auto FICO score. Um, Crafty Shade says, is it better to buy or lease? Google search your auto advocate, buy or lease. We did an article about that as well. It's the two totally it, different options. Y yes, and some people are not comfortable leasing and others are not comfortable buying. I'm not comfortable buying. I'd rather lease. That's just me. Yep, and we have a comment here from Gilberto. FICO auto score, and it depends which credit reporting agency they pull. So yes, when you submit a credit app, we had a video with Kimberly this past week or yes. two weeks ago. You're always the dealer's always going to tell you your the lowest, lowest score. score but you, Use your you can, highest score. You can ask them. Yep. Uh, just out of curiosity, I know you pulled all three bureaus. Uh, what were my scores on the other two bureaus? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, let's see here. Do some manufacturers view a used car sale with low miles as a new car sale? No, that has to do with titles, correct? Yes. Yeah. So once the car's been titled, then it becomes a used car. We do have another video on the channel. It's like why some new cars have thousands of miles on them. Give that a quick watch. Yes. That'll be helpful for you as well. Dealer demos and, and service vehicles as well. Um, go somewhere else to buy a car for comparable and show. Yeah, Gilberto, good advice. Um, Fred says, can you give any advice on under $8,000 used car buying? I think we have a video about that, but we, they're, they're really desirable. They are, uh, very desirable. The, and the advice that I've given is make friends with a, a service advisor or a tech, uh, at, at a dealership. And if the dealership ever trades a nice older used car that they're going to price eight thousand dollars or below maybe the service advisor can give you a heads up yep exactly yeah because um, they know the good ones when they come in yep yep uh crafty shades of gray says are you only answering twitter questions no we're going through the live stream chat right now the sun's game doesn't start until like five minutes after the top of the hour so we can what are you telling so we'll, we'll go for like another three minutes three minutes 
you know, there's the final there's, three minutes. There's chocolate, there's chocolate pie, pie in your in my future. We should show the folks that chocolate pie. Yeah, well, there's hardly any left. I put show. a I put a big dent into it earlier. Yeah. Then I had to go for a really long walk. Okay. Um. Uh. Jim says. Oh, let's do Bill. Help. Yeah. All caps. Twenty twenty one. Santa Fe limited edition or calligraphy for best deal. Run the market price report. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'm guessing that, that the Santa Fe limited edition, there's more of than the calligraphy edition. Yep. Um, and because of that, you'll probably be able to get a better deal. But you might be able to get more of a percent discount off the calligraphy because there's yeah, bigger it, spread. It depends, in it. On, it, it depends on how well the cal calligraphy edition actually sells. Dad. If the dealers have them and they don't really sell, then you could probably get a better deal on that one. Someone asked to see the pie, so I got to do it. Oh, geez. Zach's going to get the pie? Oh, my God. It's, it, it's from Zingerman's Deli in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Um, and it was, it was the most incredible pie. Um, and it's just a lovely chocolate pie that I have no idea how much is left. Not a lot. Uh, could, what's left could be mine. Oh, no, that's too much for me. But it is incredible. It is rich. And, and I don't know, I'm telling you right now, folks, a half hour after I eat that, I'll be semi-comatose. I, I, and, and I won't care how the Suns played. But, but right now, I hope they played better than the Cardinals played. No. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm glad that I got to share the pie. Yeah, I'm glad you got to share the pie too. And I took us to, to the top of that. All right. Yeah. A couple more questions, and we'll get out of here. Whatever you say. Um, Sir bongs a lot. <laughs> Who? Sir bongs a lot. Okay. Well, you know we're in Vegas. Maybe we can help you here. I don't know. <laughs> Sir Boggs a lot. A lot yeah. uh, it says smash that like and subscribe button. Stop sleeping. Yeah. Mm. The haters going to keep hating Sir Boggs a lot, but we got your support. And that yeah. Means the world. Well, you know, there are haters out there. Too. Send, Michael says, send the pie makers an invoice. <laughs> Well, you know, we're, we're thinking about, we're just telling anybody, if you're in Ann Arbor, go to the Zingerman's Deli, yeah, yeah, tell yeah. them Zach and Ray from your auto advocate sent you, and we'll send them an invoice and see if they pay. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Michael says, need some Cool Whip. Are you a Cool Whip or a Whipped Cream fan, Dad? Which one do you go for? Um, At this point, if you're looking for car advice, this is like this is officially after hours because we're a minute over our a lot of time. So we're talking I, about I, food. I, at I am this point. I am more I am more whipped cream than Cool Whip. What's your favorite food, Dad? We are totally devolving at this point. So seriously, if you're my, looking for car advice, I would leave. But if you want to just hear us banter, my my, my favorite food, yeah, um, my my favorite go to is chicken parmesan. Oh my gosh, yeah! Every yeah. Italian restaurant yeah. we ever go to, you get um, the same thing. And and my favorite type of food, I yeah. think, is is really good Mexican food. Okay, so if you know of a place in Las Vegas, yeah, yeah, please I, you let know, us know. Yeah, I, I mean, it's like there's taco shops and everything on every corner, but we don't know the good ones from the bad ones. So anybody that's in the Las Vegas area that can give us uh, some some help when it comes to what's the most go-to Mexican restaurant I got to try? Because I, I love my Mexican food. I really do. And tell us, use hashtag your auto advocate. We will, I'll probably, if, if we go and we like yeah, it, yeah. I will like DM you, get your address, and I will send you uh, a we'll merch. Send you, I'll we'll send you a taco. Send, we'll, we'll send you a copy of the bill, and maybe you'll read <laughs> No, <Who knows? laughs> we are not that stingy. <laughs> no, not at all. Um, Jonathan says, great live event, fellas. Yeah, we probably could have signed off a while ago, Jonathan, yeah. but it would have been a really great event, but we're still going. Yeah. Um, okay, Mi Midi Man says, Zach, listen to Ray. Trust me, your father has a lot of knowledge. I bet he has been there and done that. Uh, been there and done most, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, been there and done some stuff I wish I hadn't done, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's leave with one final story, if you feel comfortable sharing it. What kind of story? The one where you, where you were in college and you stole beer. What'd you okay, do? So, yeah, this is so, a final story. So when, when I was in college, I, 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 I was not much of a college student. I didn't get accepted to very many colleges. Okay, I got accepted. The one, Indiana University of Pennsylvania in Indiana, Pennsylvania. However, they didn't invite me to the main campus in Indiana, Pennsylvania. They gave me a choice of campuses. I could either go to Punxsutawney or Catanning. Pennsylvania. Punxsutawney, I didn't want to go there because the most famous thing there is their groundhog. <laughs> and Catanning, it just seemed easier to spell. So one night, a group of guys in the house I lived in decided that we should, we should, in one night 
in the winter that we <laughs> should go to the local beer distributor right outside of town and, I don't know, steal two or three kegs of beer. And like a fool, I said, sure, I mean, let's go. <laughs> okay. And, and so we went and, and we're driving back into town yep. at like one o'clock in the morning yep. and it's snowing and police see us and start following us. Yeah. And so we pulled into a parking spot. We all got out of the car and ran. <laughs> okay. And I'm running with another fellow and all of a sudden I hear, halt or I'll shoot. <laughs> And what then, year is this? This is like this is 1969. Wow, 1970. Um, and and I hear a gunshot, and I turn to my friend. And I said, "I don't know about you, but I'm done running." <laughs> <laughs> and and they came and they they grabbed us and they handcuffed us and and they they threw us in the car. I said, "You know, this is really uncomfortable." But their hands, he says, "Hey, you're the ones that got arrested, not us." Um, and then they 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 grabbed another one of the fellows. They they just followed his footprints into yep. into somebody's apartment where he had jumped in the bed. And anyway, uh, they they took us to a few days later to the local justice of the peace, and he asked us how we plead. And I said, "Well, what if I plead temporary insanity? Because I'm telling you, I was I was out of my mind at the moment." And he said, "Well, then you know we'll have to get a public defender, and we got to do this, and we got to do that." And that, you know, and I said, "And if I just plead guilty, he said yeah, I need a check for 125 dollars." I said, well, "Let me give you the check." <laughs> it's such a good story. Did your dad ever know? Um, well, you know, my parents are the ones that gave me the checking account. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, did they know? They never said anything, but they knew. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, when they saw the check come through to the Justice of the Peace for $125, <laughs> I mean, I guess they could have said, gee, what was that for? You're just making a contribution to your local, you know, community. Justice of the Peace, yeah. 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 Temporary insanity, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Well, on that note, I'm going to crack open... I think it does Sackies. Okay, yeah, that's my favorite. Let's watch some basketball. Yes, have you're some gonna have some pie. pie, and and with any luck at all, folks, we'll see you next Saturday night. Yeah, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your ongoing yeah. support, um, and get some car deals this week because next thing you know, it's the new year. Although for new cars, Jan fourth, Jan fourth yep. is what the what the. Uh, I look, I look of. forward to uh, spending part of my Saturday evening with you next week, folks. Thank you for everything. All right, thanks, pops. Yep. Thank you, guys. Yep. Good night. All right. And stream, you want to hit it? You want me to hit it? You can hit it. You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Robert says save the turtles. Well, you know, if I could find them, I'll save them. <laughs> cool.